What if the story of life didn't begin on Earth? What if long before our planet formed, the seeds of life were already drifting through the vastness of space, waiting for the right moment to take root? For ages we've gazed at the stars, asking, are we alone? From ancient civilizations mapping constellations to modern dreamers peering through telescopes, humanity has always been captivated by the mysteries above, searching for meaning in the endless night. We've searched for signals, expecting technology, intelligence, and intent. We've built vast arrays of radio telescopes, hoping to catch a whisper from distant civilizations, some sign that we are not the only ones to wonder, to reach out, to hope. But maybe we've been listening for the wrong thing. Perhaps the universe speaks in subtler ways, in patterns and traces that don't shout, but quietly persist, waiting for us to learn their language. What if the signature of life is not a shout, but a breath? a quiet chemical exhalation written into starlight waiting for us to notice. Imagine a message not sent by machines but by the very chemistry of living things, drifting across the cosmos, hidden in the glow of distant worlds. This is the story of a discovery that challenges our assumptions about life and the cosmos. It's a story that asks us to rethink what it means to search for life and to open our minds to possibilities we never imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope, built to witness the birth of galaxies, stumbled upon something far more startling, a chemical fingerprint that could rewrite the history of life itself. With its powerful eyes, Webb has peered deeper into the universe than ever before, capturing the faintest traces of molecules that hint at something extraordinary. If confirmed, it suggests life's building blocks, or even life itself, might be a common outcome of cosmic evolution. The elements that make up our bodies, our world, may have been forged in the hearts of stars and scattered across the universe, ready to spark life wherever conditions allow. Imagine a universe where the chemistry of life began when the cosmos was still young, a reality revealed by the light web is captured. In this vision, life is not a rare accident but a natural part of the universe's unfolding story written in the very fabric of space and time. We may not be the first act but just one performance in a cosmic play that began long, long ago. As we look up at the stars we are not just searching for others. We are discovering our own place in a universe alive with possibility. To truly appreciate this groundbreaking discovery, we first need to understand the extraordinary tool that made it possible, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. This marvel of engineering represents decades of innovation, collaboration, and human curiosity, all focused on one goal to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. At the heart of Webb is its massive gold-coated mirror, spanning over 21 feet across. This mirror, made up of 18 hexagonal segments, is designed to capture the faintest whispers of light from the most distant corners of the cosmos. Its unmatched sensitivity to infrared light allows Webb to see not only further into space, but also further back in time, unlocking secrets that have been hidden since the dawn of the universe. As our universe expands, the light from ancient stars and galaxies is stretched, shifting into the infrared part of the spectrum. This red-shifted light is invisible to telescopes like Hubble, but Webb's advanced instruments are specifically designed to detect it, revealing a universe that was previously hidden from view. To achieve this, Webb's instruments must be kept colder than even the depths of space itself. This is made possible by its enormous sun shield, a five-layered structure the size of a tennis court, which protects the telescope from the heat of the sun, earth, and even the moon, ensuring its delicate sensors remain at optimal temperatures. Webb orbits nearly a million miles from Earth, at a special point known as L2. This remote vantage point offers a stable, unobstructed view of the cosmos, making it the perfect outpost for exploring the earliest epochs of the universe, the so-called cosmic dawn. But Webb is more than just a camera. Its four scientific instruments are powerful spectrographs, capable of splitting incoming light into its component colors. This process reveals the unique chemical fingerprints of stars, galaxies, and even exoplanets, allowing scientists to study their composition, temperature, and motion in exquisite detail. By carefully analyzing these spectra, astronomers can piece together the life stories of galaxies that formed billions of years ago. They can trace the birth of stars, the formation of elements, and the evolution of cosmic structures across unimaginable stretches of time. It was this very technique, turning light into a cosmic code, that transformed what began as a routine observation into a discovery that would challenge everything we thought we knew about the early universe. With its unprecedented vision, 
Webb didn't just look back in time, it uncovered something astonishing, something no one had ever anticipated, forever changing our understanding of the cosmos. Webb's mission had four goals, find the first light after the Big Bang, trace the growth of galaxies, study the birth of stars and planets, and search for the origins of life. Its infrared eyes peer into stellar nurseries and analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, searching for molecules like water and methane. But no one expected to find direct evidence of biology in the early universe. While studying the first galaxies, astronomers using Webb's NIRSPEC instrument found a signal that shouldn't exist. They were looking for hydrogen and helium, the universe's first elements, but found something far more intriguing. The data revealed a chemical fingerprint that defied all expectations. The target was GNZ 11, a galaxy seen as it was just 400 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers expected to find only hydrogen, helium, and perhaps faint traces of carbon or oxygen. Instead, Webb's deep spectral analysis revealed a subtle, distinct absorption feature, something absorbing light at a wavelength no one anticipated. It wasn't a known element or simple molecule. The team checked for errors, interference, and foreground contamination. Every test confirmed the signal was real and from GNZ 11 itself. The chemical fingerprint was baffling, originating from the edge of the observable universe. This was not just a new data point, it was a mystery that could upend our understanding of cosmic history. The team was left with a question, what could possibly create such a signal so early in the universe? The answer would change everything. The mysterious absorption feature observed in the distant galaxy's light was unmistakable. It matched the primary absorption peak of chlorophyll A, the green pigment that powers photosynthesis on Earth, capturing sunlight and transforming it into the energy that sustains nearly all life. This was not just a random similarity, the spectral fingerprint was precise, echoing the unique way chlorophyll interacts with light. Chlorophyll is a remarkably complex molecule, built from a delicate arrangement of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and magnesium atoms. Its formation requires not just the right elements, but also a stable environment, conditions thought to be rare in a chaotic metal-poor galaxy just 400 million years after the Big Bang. The odds seemed almost impossible, yet the spectrum revealed not just one but two distinct absorption peaks, both perfectly matching those of Earth's chlorophyll, only shifted by the stretching of cosmic expansion. This double signature was a powerful clue, suggesting a molecule with the same light-absorbing properties as chlorophyll. The simplest, most direct explanation was astonishing. A molecule functionally identical to chlorophyll existed in GNZ 11, a galaxy from the universe's earliest epoch. This was not a mere coincidence but a profound connection across time and space. Of course this didn't mean forests or trees were waving in the cosmic dawn, instead, it hinted at the possibility of vast clouds of bacteria-like organisms, or perhaps countless primordial planets coated in simple photosynthetic life, tiny architects of a living universe. The James Webb Space Telescope had detected for the first time the chemical signature of photosynthesis on a galactic scale, in what could be called the universe's first morning. This was a discovery that rewrote our understanding of life's timeline. The implications were staggering. Life, or at least the chemistry that makes life possible, may have begun almost as soon as the universe itself allowed. The emergence of such complex molecules so early challenges everything we thought we knew about the origins of biology. The cosmos, it seemed, was not just forming stars and galaxies but possibly life itself woven into the very fabric of the early universe waiting to be discovered. This discovery shatters our timeline for life's emergence. Chlorophyll requires heavy elements, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, created in stars and released in supernovae. Conventional models say it should take billions of years to build up enough of these elements for complex molecules, yet GNZ 11 shows chlorophyll-like signatures just 400 million years after the Big Bang. How could such complexity arise so quickly? in such a hostile, radiation-filled environment. Perhaps life doesn't need Earth-like stability. Maybe it thrives in dust clouds beneath planetary surfaces, or forms far faster than we imagined. The leap from chemistry to biology may not be rare, but a natural step in cosmic evolution. On Earth, photosynthesis transformed the planet, releasing oxygen and paving the way for complex life. The discovery in GNZ 11 raises a bold question. Could photosynthesis have altered entire galaxies in the early universe? If so, life's byproducts, like oxygen, 
could have changed galactic chemistry on a massive scale. Astronomers are now searching Webb's data for the spectral signature of oxygen in ancient galaxies. If found, it would confirm that life was not just present, but actively shaping the cosmos. This idea flips cosmology on its head. Life as a force, not just a passenger in the universe's evolution. The detection of a biological signature in the infant universe is a discovery on par with the greatest in astronomy. It suggests the stories of the universe and life have been intertwined from the very beginning. For decades, the Drake Equation has guided our search for extraterrestrial life, estimating the odds of intelligent civilizations. The Webb discovery doesn't answer the question of intelligence, but it changes a crucial variable, how often life arises. If life began so early, under such harsh conditions, it suggests life is common wherever conditions permit. The universe may be teeming with simple, microbial life everywhere, but rarely evolving into complexity. This reframes the Fermi paradox. Maybe everybody is everywhere but microscopic. The search for biosignatures, not just radio signals, now takes center stage. Thanks to Webb, the search for life is a data-driven pursuit at the heart of modern astronomy. We stand at a turning point. Webb, built to find the first stars, may have found the first life. The evidence suggests photosynthesis, a cornerstone of life, may be universal, not unique to Earth. The cosmos could be inherently fertile, with biology woven into its earliest history. Scientists are racing to confirm this finding, searching for corroborating evidence in other galaxies and in the spectral signature of oxygen. We now ask not just, are we alone, but, how deeply are we connected to a universe that's been alive since its dawn? As we peer deeper into the darkness, we're searching for our most ancient relatives, the origins of the impulse that animates us all. The universe may hold many more secrets in its starlight, and our story, it seems, is just one chapter in a much older, grander tale.